Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Prince Hordadev, son of King Khufu, stood to speak and he said, How to tell the consequence of a past deed is something that is known only to those that have passed away. One cannot distinguish truth from lies. There is someone under your majesty and in your time who you do not know. His majesty said, What is this, Hordadev, my son? Then the king's son Hordadev said, There is a commoner named Jedi, living in Jedsneferu. He is a commoner of 110 years. He eats 500 loaves of bread, a shoulder of beef for meat, together with 100 jars of beer each day. He knows how to reattach a head that has been cut off. He knows how to make a lion walk behind him, its tether upon the ground, and he knows the number of secret chambers of the Sanctuary of Thoth. Now, the majesty of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Khufu Justified, spent the day searching for himself the secret chambers of the Sanctuary of Thoth, to make something like it for himself, for his tomb. Then his majesty said, You Hordadev, my son, will bring him to me. Boats were made ready for Prince Hordadev, and he undertook travel southward to Jedsneferu. Now, after these boats were moored to the shore, he travelled by land in a palanquin of ebony with poles of cedar wood mounted with gold. After he had reached Jedi, the palanquin was set down. Then he stood up to address him. He found him lying upon a mat on the threshold of his house, a servant holding his head anointing him and another massaging his feet. Then Prince Hordadev said, your condition is like living before growing old, sleeping until dawn, free of disease without a fit of coughing. Greeting, O Blessed One. I have come here to summon you at the behest of my father Khufu, Justified. You will eat delicacies provided by the king, the food of those who are his followers. He will lead you into a beautiful lifetime and to your ancestors who are in the necropolis. Then this Jedi said, Welcome. Welcome, Prince Hordadev, beloved of his father. May your father, Khufu Justified, favour you. May he promote your proper place amongst the elders. May your soul denounce your enemy and learn the road that leads to the gate of him who shelters the dead. Greetings, O Prince. Then Prince Hordadev held out his arms to him and raised him up. They set out together to the riverbank, and Hordadev gave him his arm. Then Jedi said, let one of the barges be given to me, so it may carry my children and my books. Two barges were given to him, together with their crew, and Jedi travelled northward in the barge in which Prince Hordadev was in. Now, after he reached the royal residence, Prince Hordadev entered, in order to report to the majesty of the king of Upper and Lower Egypt, Khufu Justified. Then Prince Hordadev said, My king, my lord, I have brought Jedi. His Majesty said, Go and bring him to me. Then His Majesty proceeded to the columned hall of the royal palace, and Jedi was ushered into him. Then His Majesty said, How is it, Jedi, that I have not seen you before? Jedi said, He who is summoned comes, Sovereign King. You make a summons to me, and look, I have come. Then His Majesty said, Is what they say true, that you can reattach a severed head? Jedi said, Yes, I know how, Sovereign King, my Lord. Then His Majesty said, Let there be brought to me a criminal who is in prison, and let his sentence be executed. 
Jedi said, but not to a human, Sovereign King, my lord. You may not do something like this to a man, i.e. the noble flock. Then a Nile goose was brought to him and his head was cut off. Then the goose was placed on the western side of the columned hall with its severed head on the eastern side. Then Jedi spoke his words of magic and the Nile goose stood up waddling, its head as well. Now, after one had reached the other, the Nile goose stood up cackling. Then his majesty had another edible bird brought to him and the same thing was done to it. Then his majesty had a bull brought to him and his head was severed and thrown to the ground. Then Jedi said his words of magic and the bull stood behind him, its tether falling to the ground. Then King Khufu said, what about the report that you know the number of secret chambers of the Sanctuary of Thoth? Then Jedi said, May it please you, I do not know their number, my sovereign, my lord. However, but I know that place where they are kept. Then his majesty said, Where? Then this Jedi said, There is a chest of flint in a room called the inventory in Heliopolis. It is in this chest. And his majesty said, Go and bring it to me. And then Jedi said, Sovereign King, my lord, look, I am not the one who will bring it to you. Then his majesty said, Who will bring it to me? And Jedi said, It is the eldest of the three kings who are in the womb of Regidet who will bring it to you. Then his majesty said, I want it. These things you say. Who is Regidet? Then Jedi said, She is the wife of a priest of Ra, Lord of Sakbu now pregnant with three sons of Ra, Lord of Sakbu. He said this about them. They will carry out this ministerial position throughout the entire land. The eldest of them will become the High Priest of Ra at Heliopolis. Then His Majesty fell into a bad mood on hearing this. Then Jedi said, Now, what is this mood, my Sovereign King, my Lord? Is it on the account of the three children I spoke of? Your son, then his son, then one after them. Then his majesty said, When will Regidet give birth? And Jedi said, She will give birth on the fifteenth day of the first month of Peret. Then his majesty said, But that is when the sandbanks of the Two Fish Canal are cut off, servant. I will enter it myself. Then I could see the Temple of Ra, Lord of Sakbu. Jedi said, Then I will let four cubits of water appear on the sandbanks of the Two Fish Canal. His Majesty then proceeded to his palace. Then His Majesty said, Have Jedi assigned to the royal house of Prince Hordadev. He will reside with him, and given provisions of a thousand loaves of bread, a hundred jars of beer, one ox, and a hundred bundles of vegetables. Then it was done as everything His Majesty had commanded. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.